Good day to everyone. I'm Mad Wantamad and welcome to another video here at Madoza Channel. For today's video, we are going to show you our made full commercial system. We have uh, four independent systems running here inside a protected uh, rain shelter with net sidings and a polycarbonate rooftop. So for our tour, we have system one and system number two over here. And we also have system number three and system number four. So system number three and system number four are still under construction. So for today's walkthrough, we are gonna show you system number one and system number two. They have been running for almost two months now. So follow me and let's walk through our system. So this system has two, two grow beds each. So this is uh, grow bed one and grow bed two for system number one. Each grow bed contains 1,500 heads of lettuce. So each rack has 50. So these are, these are all styrofoam wraps and they are all floating on a deep water culture bed. So the deep water culture bed is made of concrete with fiberglass water waterproofing. So as you can see, the lettuce is about, I, I think this is about three, three weeks old and the roots are very clean. So they're only floating on the deep water culture raft. Okay, so we also have sensors here. Uh, this is a standard digital sensor we add on all our systems. So this is the TDS, the temperature is 29 degrees Celsius and the pH is still high at around 8.25 uh, pH. So let's go to our uh, floating raft here. So this is like a conveyor system, as you can see. We start our seedlings here, and then as they as they grow, we just push it until it reaches the end of our raft where we harvest our lettuce. So each uh, each cycle or each lettuce cycle is around two weeks from seed, and then four weeks in the grow out. Okay, so follow me. We also have large compressors. Uh, each compressor provides air to the fish tank and to the filter and also to the floating raft. So our floating raft, row beds have air stone in them. So our air stones are made of plastic. So they, they are very easy to maintain when they get clogged. So you just do that and clean the air stone and put it inside our DWC. So here we have seedlings started. This is a three-day-old seedling. And then as it grows, we push it along our conveyor. So when we have empty spaces here, we just get new rafts from our nursery or our other systems. And then we place our wraps here. And then we place our seeds and then the cycle continues. Okay? So we also have a pump here. So this is a very small pump. This, this pump is rated at 10,000 liters per hour. So that very small pump is only around, let's see the rating. If I can, this is only 115 watts. So a very small pump can power or change the water of our 6,000 liter fish tank. So let's go to our fish tank. So this is our 6,000 liter 
conical bottom fish tank. It is made of fiberglass. It is UV stabilized and gel coated. And it, it has a smooth inside so the fish will not get injured when they scratch on the walls. So let us feed our tilapia. We have our commercial feeds here. So these are just standard uh, pellets, floating pellets. We are gonna feed our 1,000 tilapia fingerlings. This, the, uh, these uh, tilapia juvenile fish are about uh, two months old. So we added them as fingerlings and then they are now two months old. Okay, let's set this aside first. So let's now discuss the flow of our fish tank. So from the pump, uh, in our sump, it, it is pumped here in our fish tank where it enters this inlet. This from, the, from this inlet, it has a solid li lifting outlet in the middle, okay? So you can see that uh, circular uh, uh, cone there is a solid lifting outlet which collects the solids from the bottom of this conical bottom fish tank and then sucks it in and then diverts it to our uh, filter. Let's go to our filter. So the water from our solid lifting outlet inside our 6,000 liter uh, fish tank will flow inside our Duraflow Max. So this Duraflow Max is designed for 15,000 liters and above. So the, the center of our Duraflow is a radial flow filter. So this is the center. So the inlet, the exit from the fish tank goes here to the inlet of our vortex chamber. Then from the, from the radial flow uh, chamber, it will exit our static bed over here. So this is static media. It has static media pellets. The pellets are still new. So they are still uh, buoyant. In the future, when they, are, when they get clogged with the fish waste, they will sink to the bottom. And then cleaning it will just be an easy step of bubbling it and then draining at the bottom of our filter. So this is the drain of our filter. So the drain can be directly drained to our uh, soil-based garden or they can, they can collect the sludge and remineralize it and then uh, let it uh, settle and then bring back the water to our system and then the solids that settle can be placed in the vermi bin or in the soil-based garden. Okay? So from the static media compartment, it undergoes another radial stage and then from the second radial stage, it now goes to our MBBR or moving bed bioreactor. So in the moving bed bioreactor, as you can see here, the plastic media pellets are continuously bubbling and they are continuously cleaning itself. So it is self-cleaning. So after that uh, conversion of our ammonia into nitrates, which happens in the biological stage, it will then overflow back to our DWC-1 through this pipe here. So the DWC-1 outlet will overflow, our inlet is here, and then it will flow back to the end of our DWC, and then it will transfer to the next DWC, or DWC number two, and then the pump will now carry it back to the fish tank. So that's the cycle of our system number one. So we keep the systems independent of each other. So when there's a sick fish here, the system number one does not affect the other system. So each system is quarantined, okay? So let's go to system number two. In system number one, we have red tilapia. In system number two, however, we have catfish. So let's see if we can feed the catfish. So we have a thousand catfish here. Let's look at the camera, uh, the fish as they feed. So here we have catfish over here on the side. I don't know if you can see them because 
The catfish does not eat the algae compared to the tilapia. The tilapia will eat the algae in the tank. So here we have to manually clean the, el the algae or we can add a uh, fish that eats the algae to clean the wall for us. Okay? So we have around a thousand catfish here. We added the catfish at around 3 cm, 3 to 5 cm, and now they are already 8, c, 8, uh, 8 inches, okay? So in a span of two months, they already tripled or quadrupled their size. Because we are cleaning the water for, for our catfish and providing good quality water with good dissolved oxygen, the catfish will feed more and they will grow more, okay? So that's the secret in growing fish faster. Provide them with clean water and they will eat more, okay? So then from the same, uh, from the same solid lifting outlet or the similar design to the system number one, our fish tank uh, will overflow to a radio flow filter, okay? So, so this is Duraflow, the Duraflow filter for system number two. So it's, it has the same principle. It has a radial flow in the center and then a static media compartment for its next stage and then another radial flow on the outer stage and then a moving bed bioreactor on the last stage. It then overflows to, through this strainer over here. So this strainer prevents the media from entering our DWC and then it flows back to this DWC over here. So again, the, the, the water will flow to the end of the grow, uh, to the end of this DWC, so let's, so follow me. So at the end of our raft, we have ready to harvest lettuce. Let's look at one. So the roots are very clean. The leaves are very crunchy because this is still a young system. Some of it are still yellow. But as the system matures, it will convert more ammonia into nitrates. Okay? And then from this grow bed, it will overflow or it will go to the next grow bed over here, okay? So this system also has a sensor which is similar to the other system. It has almost a similar, it has almost the same reading as this one. And, and then it will flow back to the pump. It's also similar to the flow of system number one. So system number three and system number four is still under construction so we'll have a part two of this video in our channel or in madodo channel so don't forget to hit the notification bell when you subscribe to our channel so i'm gonna give a shout out to the main team who made this uh installation possible so shout out to the main team without the main team we cannot make our or we cannot construct this uh very beautiful uh, aquaponics system. So if you want to learn uh, more about aquaponics, don't forget to like, share, subscribe our Madodo channel. We will also have a webinar which we will try to conduct here uh, and we will post our schedule on our Facebook page, Modular Aquaponics. So again, thank you for watching.